You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. I'm the king of that. And that's why this top spot, this number one, that's mine. There's people in the world that have skills and strength and talent that I will never have. We all have limitations. What does that mean? Does that mean that I give up? Does that mean that I quit? Of course not. It means that I'm going to try to be the best that I can be. The strongest, the fastest, the, the smartest the smartest human that I can become. How close can I get to that greatness? How close can I get to that glory? But the reality is that my glory, it doesn't happen in front of a crowd. It doesn't happen in a stadium. It doesn't happen on a stage. There's no medals handed out. My glory happens in the darkness of the early morning, in solitude, alone, where I try. And I try and I try again to be everything that I possibly can be. The best that I possibly can be. Better than I was yesterday and better than other people thought I could be. Faster and stronger and smarter and with one victory that no one can ever take away from me. A victory that is earned every single day. A victory of determination and will and discipline and a victory that is achieved because I will not stop. I used to walk into a competition and I would say, I am the one. First place, that's, that's mine. That's a guarantee, that's a lock. This top podium, that belongs to me. Why? Because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born with more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot outdetermine me. You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. I'm the king of that. And that's why this top spot. This number one, that's mine. Don't go into any competition of life, physical, mental, emotional, whatever it may be, too late. You gotta try so hard, know that, know that you've worked hard, hard as to be on the even playing field, but you can't make it an even playing field if you're not working your ass off. Being uncommon amongst uncommon, it's really about yourself. It's you against yourself. It's not you against them. So once you get in these groups and you're like, you know what? I don't want to be like you anymore. I want to be better than you. I want to I want to put all this shit to fucking shame. Not to put you down, but there's another level, man. I want to keep evolving. There's more to this. I'm coming from a position of being the best at what I chose to do, my chosen field. I was the best at that. And the way I approached being the best at that, my message travels throughout whatever industry, whatever chosen field that you choose, whatever endeavor you choose to take up on yourself. If you want to be the best at that, if you want to reach the pinnacle of that, you must be 
There's no way around. You have to be obsessed with obtaining that. Greatness in any field, greatness cannot be achieved without obsession. Kill the noise. You got to kill the noise. And many of you cannot get to your level of success. You cannot get to dominance because you are worried about everything that's coming in your ear, guys. You got all kind of distractions from the left, from the right, from in front of you, from behind, on the side of you. Like you are constantly bombarded with noise and you got to learn how to be mature enough to silence the noise. Who cares what they say? Dominance. Who cares what they think? Dominance. You want to kill your haters? You want to shut them down? You want to kill the noise? Nothing succeeds like success. If you can learn to kill the noise and dominate your space, your lane, stay in your lane and dominate your lane, I'm telling you, not only will you compete, not only will you dominate, but you, my friend, will leave a dynasty. I dare you to dominate. I challenge you to find your space, stay in your space and create something in your space that has never been created before. Control your lane. I dare you to believe in yourself so much so that you don't need the affirmations of others. I dare you to believe in your uniqueness. I dare you to believe in you. I dare you to stand up for yourself. I dare you to dominate your space, your world, and to leave a legacy. thing straight. You don't need someone's permission to be great. You don't need anyone's validation. Like you think there's some sort of secret group or secret cult or secret power out there that needs to say, hey, yeah, man, that's a good idea. You should go do that. That's not the case. You don't need my approval. You don't need anyone else's approval to dream big and go out and execute on the plan. It doesn't matter what someone thinks about your idea. It doesn't matter about what someone thinks about your plan. What matters is that you go out and do it. When you go out there and you think, oh, I need to get my parents to approve. I need to get my friends to approve. I need to get so-and-so to approve of me and then I can go out and do it. No, nobody's gonna believe in you in the beginning. Nobody is gonna validate you and say, yes, you're gonna be successful because the truth is nobody knows and most of society is stuck within the four walls of what they're supposed to do and they're not going to see your vision. see your plan they're not gonna see what it is that you're capable of achieving so stop looking for people to say yeah man you're on the right track make a plan work the plan when you make mistakes adjust the plan 
The world owes you nothing. If you're waiting around for someone to come along and give you permission to be great, you're going to be waiting for a very long time. We're here for a short time, and we're all going to die. If you are working day in and day out to build your ultimate life, what are you waiting for? Nobody's going to believe in you until after you've done it. And then some people are going to come around, the same guys who were laughing at you in the beginning, saying you're crazy. They're going to say, man, I always believed in you. I always knew you were going to do something great. Don't let your delicate little panties get in a bunch because your friends laugh at you when you say you want to drive a Lamborghini or build a great business or career or build an extraordinary life. Instead, take those mental notes, save it inside, use... for internal fuel when you find yourself wanting to quit or cut a corner on the road to success. You don't need permission. You don't need anyone's permission to be great. The only permission you need is from that mother who stares at you back in the mirror every day and a willingness to do the hard work longer, harder, and better than anyone.